okay, don't leave. I know this doesn't look good and it sounds pretty bad, but that's what we're here to talk about. This is a video about what the right software can do for your stream. This video is sponsored by this glorious mustache and my awesome new haircut. I'm dad and hopefully I don't waste your time. Having the right hardware for a stream, camera, microphone, lighting, is all very important, but the right software and settings is just as important. There's some good options for audio, one of the most popular being Voice Meter Banana. I personally use Adobe Audition. A quick rundown of my effects are adaptive noise reduction, parameter equalizer, hard limiter, and dynamics processing. Now I'm gonna pause for a second and let you listen to really nothing. Now, if I shut off all of those effects, you hear a little hum in the background, as well as the quality of my voice is not there anymore. Now, I am running with a Blue Yeti microphone, which is one of the most popular and a very good mic, but it's amazing what a difference it can make with the right software. So let's turn it back on, because that just sounds better. If you'd like to see my settings in Adobe Audition, Jump to here in the video. Something as simple as a noise suppression. Is it called noise suppression? <sighs> Something as simple as noise suppression can make a really big difference in your stream, especially when you're sitting in a small confined space like this, which I call my stream closet. The computer being that close can make a very strong humming sound, which I'm sure you heard earlier from the fans. Now I helped out a good friend of mine. You can check him out on Twitch. It's underscore rugged with his while he was in the middle of a game. Noise suppression. Right. Come on in, the water's fine. You can hear that strong hum and then as soon as he changes that setting, it is gone. More than likely, you've already picked out your favorite broadcasting software, whether it be Streamlabs OBS, OBS Studio, Stream Elements, and there's a few others out there. Within those softwares, no, within each one of those, within, within each of those, you can make a lot of changes to your audio and your video quality. I personally use Streamlabs OBS, also known as Slobs, and if I quickly turn off the two filters that I have on my video, you can see a big difference. This is standard. This is what my Logitech C930 looks when I turn them back on, which is color correction and sharpness. That's just the software. Should also mention it's free. If you'd like to see my specific settings, jump to here in the video. Another key piece of software for me is actually called Chatty. And the big element in that one is that it gives me a little sound bite whenever someone in chat says anything. Now for big streamers, when the chat's flying by, they don't need that because they can't keep up with chat anyways and the sound bite would get very annoying. But if you're a smaller, younger streamer, and you don't have the practice to keep looking over at chat all the time, then having that audio notification is a deal breaker. One of my favorite pieces of software is called Touch Portal. It is essentially a digital version of a Stream Deck. All you need to do is download the app onto a phone or tablet and download the software from their website onto your computer. The free version gives you plenty of options with a few buttons, or you can spend around $8 for the pro version, which gives you up to 110 buttons per page and unlimited pages. All of the apps that I've mentioned will be linked down in the description. If you'd like to come by and talk about your setup, I stream five days a week. You can see my schedule down below in the description. Once again, I'm Dad, and hopefully I didn't waste your time. If you only got a mustache. So ignore the fact that the camera is actually upside down here in the preview because it was easier for me mounting it upside down. And we're going to go right to sharpen. It's very simple. I have it at 0.66. See how it looks on Twitch and then go back and adjust it that way because it's different in the preview than it is live. In color correction, there's a lot here. We're gonna start with gamma at 0.21, contrast 0.03, brightness is negative 0.13, saturation is 0.41, hue shift at seven, which is a little bit more to the red side, and of course opacity is at 100. These are my personal settings, and it's really gonna make a difference depending on what your setup is, what your lighting is. So adjust these a little bit at a time until you feel they look best. So here we have Adobe Audition with all four of the effects that I have turned on. 
In the top right, we have rack effects. This will make sure that anything under a certain volume is completely cut out from the audio, getting rid of a lot of background noises, a lot of clicks, taps, really anything under negative 48 decibels. In the bottom right corner, we have rack effect, adaptive noise reduction. This also helps get rid of things like hums, and I think I just realized that dynamics processing and adaptive noise reduction do the same thing. I just turned that off and I think it sounds about the same. You can be the judge on that. Next we have parametric equalizer. This will help change the tone of your voice deeper, higher, whatever sounds best to you. Finally, an important one for the gamers out there is hard limiter. This will limit the volume level of anything while you're streaming. If the games are getting kind of hot and heavy and you're getting excited and you start to get really, really loud, it's going to make sure that you don't pink. Did I say pink? Pink. Peak. 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 And after all of that, I also have the output boosted up plus 8 decibels. One important thing that I learned while using Adobe Audition is that if you have a lot of effects turned on, it can start to sound a little metallic. So if you can, try to find ways to use less of the effects, and some of that metallic sound will hopefully go away. Once again, I'm Dad, and hopefully I didn't waste your time.